Look, Bubba. It's weird. What? Oh! Oh! Green. Blue! Mine's cooler. No, mine's cooler. Mine's <laughs> Shut up! Nice. No. Look at Mine this. has a Pentium 4 dab base. Mm. Is it okay? Hey. Let's battle! Let's battle! Yes. Star Wars! <laughs> My brother! I won! It's gone! No, it's not it. Ow! It's gone. I know, that's why I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> What's mom gonna say? <laughs> right, I was your best friend. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was you, pusher. <laughs> My hands gone. It She's chopped it off. There's only one cure for a handgun. It's back. I can. I can. Ow! Ow! It works. It's real. Jesus walks. Oh. What is that? How did. How did you do that? What the? I'll show you. This is how you do it. When light is produced from a chemical reaction, such as this one, the resulting light is called chemiluminescence. Say, chemiluminescence. Oh. Chemiluminescence. 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 Okay. The light is said to be cool because no heat is produced during the reaction. So uh, the reaction between the different chemicals in a light stick causes a substantial release of energy. When the chemicals are mixed, the atoms are excited, causing electrons to rise to a higher energy level and then return to their normal levels. When the electrons return to their normal levels, they release energy as light. This process is called chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence. Semiluminescence. The reaction in a light stick usually involves several different steps. A typical commercial light. Holds a hydrogen peroxide solution, a solution containing a phenol oxalate ester and a fluorescent dye. Are you listening? Camera lessons. Okay. The chemical Ow. compounds are kept separated in the light stick in two chambers. The phenol oxalate ester and dye solution fills most of the plastic stick itself. The hydrogen peroxide solution is contained in a small, fragile gas vial in the middle of the stick. The snapping the or bend in ashing breaks the glass vial and allows the chemicals to mix. The chemicals I. immediately react with one another. I. <laughs> I get owned. And the atoms begin emitting light. Yeah. <laughs> the particular dye used in the chemical reaction gives the light a distinctive color. What are you doing? No. Yes. The chemical reaction may last for a few minutes to a few hours or even a few days depending on the formulation. Most lysics found in the stores will last a few hours. Watch this.
Two beakers. One hot, one cold. Two light sticks. One blue, one blue. Blue is the new black. Look, can you see the difference? Yeah, that one's not as blue, and that one's more blue for than it was. It's more blue, as yeah. Okay, but why? If you heat the solutions, Blue. the extra energy will accelerate the reaction. Blue. And if the light stick will, the light stick will glow brighter. Blue. Remember, the light stick will glow for a shorter amount of time. What if you place doing? the light stick in cold water, the reaction will slow down and the light will dim. So, if you want to preserve your light stick for the next day, put it in the freezer. The cold temperature will not stop the reaction, but it will slow down the reaction until you warm up the light stick. So cool. You like can conserve the energy. Save it. What did you say? I know. La la la. <laughs> okay. Oh, let, let's see what we can do over this. Yes. Let's see. Where can we go see? Okay. So here's the cold water. And I'm pretty sure this is the hot water, if I'm not mistaken. Don't burn your new hand again. Okay. Okay, so cold water. That will save the energy of the light sticks. So they will be less less colorful, but they will have the energy longer. And the hot water, it speeds up the reaction, if I'm not mistaken, and it will stay well lit, opposed to the cold water. That's all we have to say. This concludes our experiment. Was totally successful. We got it! We got it! Yeah! We got it! We did it! We did it! Good job, young sirs. Thank you. We are so smart! Oh. Let's try it again. Yeah! yeah. We did it! We did it! Yeah. We did it. Yeah. should get the six inches. Whoa! I'm just too white and nerdy. I'm just too white and nerdy. Really, really white and nerdy. First in my class, they're at MIT. Got skills, I'm a champion at DD. MC Escher, that's my favorite MC. Keep your 40 out, just have an Earl Grey tea. My rims never spin to the contrary. You'll find it there quite stationary. All of my